Hello and welcome to the show. Eric Trump is vowing his father, President Donald Trump, will fight till the bitter end. While picking up several of the president's attacks on his perceived enemies as the whistleblower scandal heats up. My father's doing great. He understands the deep state for what they are, Trump told Fox and Friends hosts during a morning interview today, Monday. He was asked by co-host Ainsley Earhart, how is your dad doing? What does he say about all of this? She followed up, is it worth it? Does he ever want to say this? It's not worth it and I'm giving up. House Speaker Pelosi last week joined the effort to carry out an impeachment inquiry. You know, he's the greatest fighter in the world and he will fight these people till the better end, Trump responded. He also predicted, guys, we're going to win again. We're going to win again. You mark my words, this is going to backfire on them. Eric Trump operates the Trump Organization along with his brother, Don Jr., and an executive at a time when Democratic investigators are demanding Trump tax returns. House Intelligence Chair Representative Adam Schiff has, is calling witnesses this week for depositions after the whistleblower alleged Trump asked the President of Ukraine to aid his 2020 re-election effort by investigating the biddens. Eric's wife Laura has a prominent role in the Trump re-election effort. Those publicly defending Trump have included his legal team as well as House Minority Leader Representative Kevin McCarthy and ally Senator Lindsey Graham. But a House GOP lawmaker from Nevada has called for the impeachment inquiry to go forward and Illinois Representative Adam Kinzinger blasted the President's tweet that removing him would provoke a civil war. Kinzinger called it beyond repugnant. Nevada Representative Mark Amode said he was open to put it through the process and see what happens. Eric Trump picked up on Trump lawyer Rudy Giuliani's attack that the whistleblower relied on hearsay, although key elements appear to have been substantiated by the call transcript Trump ordered, released, and some of the president's own admissions. I mean, I don't understand the whole concept. How can you hear from somebody who hears from somebody who hears from somebody? Then you put out the actual facts, you put out the transcript, and there's nothing in the transcript, but yet the whistleblower is still taken credibly, he asked. And by the way, I read a lot of documents, right? We're in the business world. Read the transcript and read the whistleblower complaint, right? Tell me that wasn't written by 47 different lawyers the way they worded it. This isn't a whistleblower who is concerned about something. Hey, I want to lodge a little complaint in here. I was a little bit concerned. Will you please look at, into this? He said, paraphrasing what he cast as the whistleblower's position. I mean, it was written by a team of lawyers, there's no question about it. This thing is so set up and this is the antithesis of the deep state in Washington and everything that my father believes in fighting and getting rid of for this country. Trump also echoed his father's language in attacking Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren, whom he claimed called Pocahontas due to earlier claiming Native American lineage. He was asked about Schiff's claim that Trump understood it was illegal to seek foreign assistance for his campaign and yet immediately after former special counsel Robert Mueller testified that is exactly what he was back at doing again. Trump responded by attacking Schiff. Look at everything that Adam Schiff said about the Russian hoax. I have inside information that is going to take down the president. I know everything. You know, the Mueller report comes out and there's absolutely nothing there and the guy has been wrong time and time again and it's a disgrace, he said. Thank you.